Hello, my name is Greg Clark, and I'm a member of the Mitle Y DNA team. And in this video, I will present the latest tool available on the mitleydna.org website. The Y STR Plus tool allows you to explore and compare all of your Y DNA marker data up to 838 STR or short tandem repeat markers. There is an extensive help page that is available that you can refer to at any time, and I'd recommend you check it out at some point. You can access that from inside the tool or from the site's home page. To access the tool, the easiest way is to start from the Mito Y DNA Tools page and enter a YDNA kit ID in the Matches area. Select the number of differences up to a maximum of 10. Then choose YSTR Plus from the Max Markers drop-down list. Click the YDNA Match button and the YSTR Plus tool will be loaded. Note that the number of differences you choose will only be compared against the first 111 markers of the kits that are loaded. Once the tool is loaded, you will notice that there are three distinct parts of the screen. Up top is the options area where you can filter out the data that you are viewing so you can focus in on one area if desired. Underneath that is the YDNA kits table which lists each of the kits that match the criteria and are displayed. The top kit is the reference kit against which all the other kits are compared. The final section is the longest and that is the YDNA marker columns. This is where all the YDNA marker data for each YDNA kit is displayed vertically. Each column contains the data for one kit. For the second kit and beyond, there is also a GD column, which indicates the genetic distance for the marker in that row compared to the reference kit. Let's check out each of these areas in more detail. In the options area, the first thing you'll see is the select ranges set of checkboxes where the various marker ranges are listed and color-coded. The color coding is to help you distinguish the data when you are looking at it in the columns. If you uncheck certain ranges, that data in the columns below will be hidden. If you click on the All link or the None link, you can show or hide all of the data at once. This is especially helpful if you want to focus on just one aspect of the data at a time. The other option is the ability to look at all the marker data or to only focus on the rows that have a difference between the reference kit and one or more of the subsequent kits. When there's a difference in the marker data between the reference kit and another Y-DNA kit, the cell is highlighted in yellow in the marker columns. If it is a multi-value marker, that is a cell that has more than one number in it, then the value that is different is also bolded so that it stands out. By focusing only on those markers that have differences with the reference kit, it is easier to concentrate on what makes each unique. Moving to the YDNA kits table, you will notice that each of the kits IDs look like a blue hyperlink, and that's because it is. Click on any of those and that YDNA kit info page will open up. You may wish to right click and choose open in a new tab or use control click on a Windows machine or command click on a Mac so that you don't lose this page. The kits can be sorted using any of the criteria in the headers. The reference kit is the one listed at the top of the table inside the double lines. The other kits listed below are compared to this reference kit and the distance values listed in the table represent the genetic distance that kit is from the reference kit for a specific marker range. In the example that is loaded, the first kit below the reference kit has a distance of one in the 25 marker range. That means there is only one marker that has a different value from the reference kit within the first 25 markers. In that same range, the next kit has a genetic distance of four because there are four different values that are differ from the reference kit. The genetic distances are cumulative. So if we check out the next column for distance 37, the genetic distance for the first kit below the reference kit is now two because there is one more marker in the 26 to 37 range that has a different value. However, the other kit we looked at before still has a genetic distance of four because all of its markers in that lighter blue range have the same values as the reference kit. 
so its distance value did not go up. If we look at only the differences, this sort of pattern and counting is much easier to see. You may be familiar with Y-DNA tests that go up to 111 markers. However, there are tests that go beyond that, different versions of the big Y test from family tree DNA, for example. Those markers are divided into two groups for the purposes of this tool, and the genetic distances computed in the distance 561 and the distance 838 columns. There is also a distance checkmark column. In that column, you may have noticed during the demo that the values change as the ranges above are checked or unchecked. This column displays the genetic distance of just the markers that are visible at any given time. So if you are looking at a subset of the data, this value will be much smaller than the full distance of the entire set. You can also resort based on this value. The final set of icons in the rows for the Y-DNA kits allow you to manipulate how they are displayed and in which order they are in. You can move kits up and down in the table, which will also move their marker columns left or right below, and you can hide them temporarily. When you click on the I icon, it grays out the row in the Y-DNA kits table and hides the corresponding columns of data in the marker columns. If you're displaying only the differences, you will probably notice that the set of data you see will also change there too. However, the information is not gone for good. A single click and it's back. However, if you really want to be done with a Y-DNA kit, perhaps you've discovered that it may have matched the initial criteria, but is really not a member of the same family or set of data that you want to focus on. Then you can use the red X icon to remove it from the table. You will be given a chance to change your mind in case you clicked on the X by mistake. The icon in this row, however, that will change the data displayed most profoundly is the first one in the list, the one that looks like an up arrow with a line over top. What this one will do is to move the kit in this row to the very top of the Y DNA kits table and will make this kit now the reference kit. By creating a new reference kit, this will force all the other kits to be recalculated, so the genetic distances will all be redone, the yellow highlighted cells in the marker columns will be redone, and the minimap redrawn. This allows you to look at the same data from a whole new perspective. Underneath the actual table are two other buttons that are connected to it. One is the button you use if you want to add a new kit to the table. If you enter a wrong kit number, you'll get an orange message letting you know that there was a problem. The other yellow button or buttons that are there will take you to external websites that display interesting information about the haplogroup of the reference kit and or other kits on the page. At the time of this recording, there was one such button in the tool, but plans for a second one to be added shortly are in place. Enjoy exploring them as they appear. Now let's examine the largest part of the page. That is the actual data as displayed in the marker columns. Each column represents the data from a Y-DNA kit listed at the top of the page. Each row represents a specific Y-DNA marker and its values that have been found in those kits. The name of the marker is used in the first column is the most commonly used one as found on the Family Tree DNA website. If a Y-DNA kit doesn't have data for that specific marker, the cell will be left empty. For some ranges, when there is no data or a no call, meaning that the testing couldn't determine a result for this marker, then a dash will appear in the cell. Notice that for multi-valued markers, as long as the same numbers are in the marker, it doesn't matter which order they are in. A difference is only noted if the numbers are not the same. Order is not important. Because there are so many markers and they flow off the page when they are all being displayed, a mini-map is attached to the very right portion of the screen. Click anywhere on that and you will be instantly transported or auto-scrolled to that piece of the marker columns. The yellow lines that cross the mini-map from time to time represent the places where there are differences between the reference kit and the other kits selected. That is about it for your initial tour of the new YSTR Plus tool. 
At the very top, there is a help link that will take you to the help page for this tool. If you need to revisit any of this or see it in writing, check that out. You can always send an email to info at mitoydna.org if you have any problems, concerns, or suggestions for this or future enhancements. Have a great day.